going on everyone john matrix here today we're jumping back into the scp universe we've got uh, another video here by uh the exploring series exploring the scp foundation scp 049 the plague doctor so uh, interested to see what this is all about um as always links will be down below in the description to the original video here uh without my commentary and reaction and uh to the exploring series channel Let's go over there uh like the video if you would do me the favor um you know check out his content if you like his stuff give him a look give him a, give him a subscribe uh we uh generally do a lot of these reactions uh live for some of my youtube members so if you want to join into a lot of the discussions that we have uh feel free to click the join button down below see if any of the youtube membership benefit tiers have any interest to you but regardless of any of that we are going to, like I said, check out SCP-049, The Plague Doctor. Let's just get right on in it here. Volume's good. We'll go. SCP-049, Plague Doctor. The Great Plague was one of the most devastating pandemics in human history. Ah, so I assume this is getting into the Black Plague then. And... Uh, it being an anomaly that was either created or he is like the Black Plague. The Plague Doctor is the Black Plague. Let's find out. Killing tens of millions of pigs was one of the most devastating pandemics in human history. Killing tens of millions of people in the Eastern Hemisphere and reshaping history in the process. Cities affected by the plague would often hire plague doctors to come in and treat as many people as possible. These doctors would often how shitty would a job like that have been back in the day, you know what I mean? Like, dealing, being being a doctor and, and with medical, you know, technology the way it was back then, trying to heal and help people that are sick with this, and the possibility of being infected yourself is, you know, rather high, and of course, you know, something... During a plague like death, death, death is likely, you know, like there's some brave souls, man, some brave souls wanting to actually help people, you know what I mean? But I guess it's also during that time with so many people dying, a lot of people will probably be like, you know what, you know, if we don't find a way to fix this, then who knows what's going to happen to to everyone, you know what I mean? Everyone could just die out. So that, that's some brave souls, man. To come in and treat as many people as possible. These doctors would often be inexperienced and lack professional training and would yeah. rarely cure anyone, but merely record how many people were affected by the plague. Hmm. In the 1600s, plague doctors began wearing special outfits consisting of an overcoat, a mask, and a long beaked nose. And I wonder like what started that? Where, like what, what is the, the beaked mask? and overcoat dress like where does that or what's the origin of that design and i mean i i would assume that i don't know i was thinking that maybe there's some kind of like mask or whatever so they're they feel like it might protect them from getting sick themselves but like i don't know what kind of oh excuse me yeah I don't know, kind of like filtration system, something I'd have, you know what I mean? Like, how would it really, like, actually prevent infection from getting to you? So, I don't know. But I'm, I'm just curious, like, what are the, I guess, what the origins would be of this and significance of it. Anyway. Consisting of an overcoat, a mask, and a long beaked nose. The nose portion would contain herbs, spices, and flowers, which the doctors believe would prevent the sickness from entering their bodies. Hmm. This basic summary should provide the necessary background info for SCP-049, a highly anomalous plague doctor. While it shares some similarities with the historical plague doctor, the differences make it one of the most intriguing of the SCPs. An investigation into a string of disappearances in a French town led authorities to a local home where they discovered a man dressed as a plague doctor along with a number of hostile, reanimated corpses. Oh shit, he's a necromancer. The police terminated the hostels, while the plague doctor watched and took notes in his journal. Afterwards, the Foundation became notified and took the entity into containment. The Damn, the SCP's been around for that long? 
You said this is the 1800s, right? Let me, let me back this up. Intriguing. Some, a highly and provide the necessary background info about spices and flowers, which the doctors believe would prevent the sickness from entering their bodies. This basic summary should provide the necessary background info for SCP-049, a highly anomalous plague doctor. While it shares some similarities with the historical plague doctor, the differences make it one of the most intriguing of the SCPs. An investigation into a string of disappearances in a French town led authorities. Hmm, okay. He might just that that reference right there while having similarities to the historic plague doctor. It could mean that, yeah, he looks like a historic version of the plague doctor in modern times. But yeah, I don't know. I was just thinking that this was something that. I don't know, had its origins during, you know, the, the time period of the, the Black Plague, but because I was like, the SCP has been around for that long. But I mean, I guess technically it could have been an anomaly that's been around for that long and there just hasn't been an organization or anyone to like deal with it up until I guess would be considered present time in the SCP universe. But anyway, an investigation into a string of disappearances in a French town led authorities to a local home where they discovered a man dressed as a plague doctor along with a number of hostile, reanimated corpses. The police terminated the hostels while the plague doctor watched and took notes in his journal. Afterwards, the Foundation became notified and took the entity into containment. The entity, designated SCP-049, claims to have originated in 15th century France okay. and speaks a number of languages, notably medieval French and English. The Foundation discovered that, although it possesses a humanoid skeletal structure, the Plague Doctor outfit is actually a part of its physiology, apparently having grown out of its body, including the robes, gloves, and mask. So maybe he was like the original Plague Doctor. Huh. Interestingly... SCP-049's mask is not the same as the traditional Plague Doctor mask, but is instead reminiscent of a Zani mask from Italian theater. SCP-049 is generally cordial and respectful to Foundation personnel, originally appreciative to be amongst fellow doctors. Hmm. It soon becomes quite clear that 049 is obsessed with discovering a cure for the so-called pestilence also referred to as the Scourge and the Great Dine. I'm assuming this is the Black Plague, but I wonder if this is also like the Red Death. This is like different names for them, or if the Red Death might have been that back then. I don't know. When asked if it means the Bubonic Plague, it remarks that it doesn't know what that is. Hmm. 049's most anomalous trait is that its physical touch causes instant termination of biological functions in any living organism. Okay, so he's literally dead. This is especially dangerous due to 049's behavior when it believes it detects the presence of the pestilence. When it believes an organism to be infected, 049 will kill it with a touch and then proceed to experiment on the corpse. Interesting. Using an anomalously expansive doctor's bag that's always found on its person, 049 will perform a variety of crude surgical procedures, including rearranging organs and appendages, and introducing strange fluids to the body. While not always successful, most of the time these procedures will cause the corpse to reanimate. The what reanimated the fuck, corpses seem to retain none of their prior memories or mental faculties, and possess only basic motor functions. So I wonder if like the reanimated corpses are like hostile or are they like literal like walking dead zombies that'll try to go out and kill people or if they're just like reanimated corpses that just have like the most basic brain functions like just run off instinct or something like that. They're not necessarily hostile until uh, they perceive a situation as hostile. I'm trying to think of like what I guess the origin of this plague doctor could be. You know what I mean? I wonder if the bubonic plague, if it is, well, he says the bubonic plague, he doesn't know what that is. So I'm wondering, like, 
is this guy like literally like you know the full horseman of the apocalypse you know death pestilence etc cetera, etc cetera, famine is he like literally trying to go after pestilence and kill like that horseman himself you know what i mean is he like supposed to be the the antithesis of of that you know the opposite of pestilence and he's trying to go after and destroy that um and in so doing anything that he is uh perceived as being um infected you know he has to uh, essentially kill and open up and study like he's saying or uh, i'm just trying to think of what the origin could be of this this character um but it's very very fascinating the, the thing that i think fascinates me the most is that he doesn't know what the bubonic plague is whether it's just terminology that he doesn't understand or if that's not exactly the you know what he's talking about you know what i mean like is he just like i said going after the pestilence itself like all disease is there a specific disease is there actually like i said the you know entity that would be considered like one of the four horsemen pestilence is he going after that is it is it the red death you know is the red death kind of i guess maybe because it's so like mutative and virulent is that like maybe the origin of uh a lot of pestilence and then you know he's going after that you know i don't know interesting though faculties and possess only basic motor functions these entities are generally very passive if left undisturbed but can retaliate if provoked or if okay. 049 directs them to attack something becoming exceptionally aggressive. Hmm. 049 will write down all of the results in its journal in an unknown language, commenting that they are now cured, although their huh. biological functions are vastly different than what our science currently understands. Sometimes, 049 will experiment multiple times on the same corpse, reanimating it more than once. It continues to ask for more subjects to experiment on, especially humans, as it believes it continually grows closer to a perfect cure. Huh, so I wonder if the, the idea of the pestilence isn't that at all, but some kind of um, belief system or ideology or what it view. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Let's, let's continue and see if there's any kind of more information, but this is, I don't know. Interesting. So, what is the pestilence? Right. While it's never explicitly explained in the article, there are implications and theories. We can likely rule out any sort of biological contagion or infection, okay. at least as far as we understand it, as 049 claims that the pestilence is the only ailment that exists in the world of men. One of the popular theories is that the pestilence is death, or mortality, as it would be a problem that affects practically every living creature. Right. Although the biological functions of the reanimated corpses aren't very well understood by the Foundation, it's possible that they are biologically immortal, effectively cured of death. Unfortunately, there are a number of holes in this theory based on 049's words. When first discussing the plague, he tells the doctor to think beyond amateur terms like life and death, and to expand hmm. his horizons. Later, when discussing one of the reanimated corpses, he explains that the creature is now clean and is unable to spread the pestilence. Over See, I don't know, again, that kind of makes me think it's some kind of ideology or belief system or something like that then that they're curing it of because he's like he's killing him and reanimating him but it's, he's also like taking away like a part of their being like their consciousness their their brain function or something like that because it says they only have kind of like basic functionality at that point you know what i mean so it's like i don't know some kind of idea of self-worth or self-image or something like that, that he deems to be the pestilence, and that's what he's removing? I don't know. Interesting. And is unable to spread the pestilence. 
Overall, 049 seems to throw around the term death fairly loosely for him to not just say that's what the pestilence is. Another theory is that the pestilence is instead aging, which does fit slightly better, although it perhaps makes even less sense when considering the idea of spreading the pestilence. Yet another theory relates the pestilence to SCP-2718, a terrifying cognito hazard that causes those who believe it to experience an everlasting torture upon death. Interesting. Elimination of this disease would certainly be a noble effort, but it's one of the most highly classified SCPs known to the Foundation, with even the O5 Council not aware of it. Really? It's pretty unlikely then <clears throat> so many individuals would be affected by it, including the head doctor studying 049, whom 049 suddenly decided was infected with it. Other theories include human emotion, but testing on animals wouldn't make much sense then. Right. Entities being on the verge of death. That also wouldn't make sense then for like a certain kind of belief system or ideology or self-imagery. It's like animals don't necessarily have that kind of complex. I mean, they have emotions, obviously, but they don't seem to have quite as like complex emotional systems as humans do when it comes to like self-imaging and worth and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know. Animals wouldn't make much sense then. Entities being on the verge of death, which 049 can detect somehow, or something else mimetic or not properly understood by humans. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter what the pestilence is, and it's just as likely that 049 is simply delusional. As 049. I mean, maybe, but at the same time. Like, he claims to have been around since 1500, he speaks all these languages, he seems to have this knowledge. So, I don't know. It could just be that he's just... doing these experiments to study on things, and this is just his cover, you know what I mean? He could just be, this could all just be some kind of story fabricated so that he can do his experiments and research on animals and humans, and he seems to specifically want to do more experimentation on humans as opposed to animals, so... I don't know. Interesting. And it's just as likely that 049 is simply delusional. As 049 continues to become one of the most popular articles on the SCP Wiki, theories and discussions will likely continue to crop up. Really, what separates 049 from many other dangerous humanoid anomalies is its personality. Rather than being some monstrous, inexplicable entity that wishes right. for death he and seems destruction, like a human. 049 is generally sociable and eloquent, and for the most part, seems to genuinely want to help humanity. Right. Although he did end up killing the main doctor involved in studying him, he is regretful that the pestilence apparently took hold in him, and was glad to be able to cure him of it. Perhaps the pestilence is very real and 049 is one of our best hopes of defeating it. Perhaps 049 is like many of the plague doctors of old, little more than charlatans. I mean, perhaps the pestilence is some kind of anomaly that SCP, you know, members haven't found yet or, or really understand or, or, or something, but can just like crop up and affect various things. I don't know, I'm trying to think of what it could be, you know? But what, why is it that he's the only person or thing that can detect it and is able to, I guess, quote unquote, cure it? Oh, you know what I mean? And he doesn't seem to want to explain what the pestilence is. This is another thing that's kind of strange. It seems like it's not an actual, like, physical virus or infection in any kind of sense that has nothing to do with some of my theories or thoughts from earlier huh and it doesn't seem to be like your self-worth idea or anything it doesn't seem to be like emotional cognitive or anything like that interesting 
It does seem clear, though, that whatever 049 thinks the pestilence is, it believes that it is the cure. Interesting. Very interesting video. SP-049, you see things too simply, Doctor. Expand your horizons. Life and death, sickness and health, these are amateur terms for amateur physicians. There is only one animal that exists in the world of men, and that is the pestilence. And nothing else. Make no mistake, they were very ill, all of them. Dr. Ham, do you think you cured those people? Indeed, my cure is most effective. I really wonder what it is, then. I wonder if it's like... Is it something more like... Is there a plague of, like, the soul? You know what I mean? And so, like, he has to kill them and do something to remove it so that when someone actually does die, their soul isn't, like, tainted in some way. Interesting. Fascinating. I actually, like, I'm very curious now to know, like, what really the pestilence is. I want to know. Like, what is it? And why is he, like, seemingly the only being that's able to detect it, understand it. The the really suspect thing is, is like he's not able to, I don't know, at least from this video, because I'm not reading through the entire article itself. This might be one that I want to follow up on and do that, because this is interesting to me. It's very, it's, it's definitely intrigued me. But the idea that he's not really explaining what the quote unquote pestilence is, you know, if he would just explain it to people, I mean, maybe he does, and it's just in a way where people just don't understand it. Because like he says here, you see things too simply, uh, expand your horizons of life and death, sickness and health. These are amateur terms for amateur physicians. So like, I mean, what, what exactly is it that he's trying to cure? You know, that's the question. And why does it seem like to crop up? Like he had numerous, I guess, interactions with the main doctor until one day he either simply deemed it or said that, yes, his doctor has a pestilence in him and then he had to kill him. So it's like, where is it? Is it just something as simple as like cruelty, hatred, uh, bigotry towards other, you know, people, racism? You know what I mean? Like, the idea that you're superior to someone else or something like that. You know, because I mean, if you think about it in terms of his interaction with the main doctor, right? So like, he, he, he and his doctor probably had numerous conversations going back and forth. And I would bet that the main doctor probably would think that this SCP-049 is delusional or crazy or whatever. And so he would think he's probably uh, not a real doctor and he's greater than him and maybe that switch is what like oh you've been infected now that's the pestilence you think you're greater than you think you're better than so he you know kills him experiments on him then reanimates him and then they're kind of like set to like basic mode you know what i mean where everyone's almost kind of equal i guess that's what it seemed like, right? Because they said the, the reanimated corpses, like, they had basic function. They weren't hostile uh, unless put in situations where they felt they were threatened or the, the plague doctor told them to attack something. Um, and the plague doctor himself seems, like he said, very cordial, intelligent, uh, genuinely wanting to help people, etc. So maybe it is something like that. Maybe it's something of, like, uh, thinking uh, you're superior to other people, uh, some kind of racism thing or something like that. I don't, I don't know if I don't, I don't think it's necessarily racism, but just maybe like a superiorityism, I guess. You know, um, thinking that you're of greater value than than others, uh, and so that needs to be cured in order for humanity to like survive long term or something like that. You know, I don't know. That's the only thing I can really think of based off of what we've come on through with this so far. That kind of makes sense in my mind. But anyway, very interesting video. Very interesting video. I may end up doing a, a follow up kind of full read to this video to go over, I guess, more in detail what this plague doctor is about because I'm intrigued and I want to learn more about what the pestilence is and potentially what he's trying to do so I can 
theorycraft more. But anyway, uh, thanks guys for hanging out and checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, as always, links down below in the description to the original video. Excuse me. The original video without my commentary reaction and to the SCP uh, Exploring Series channel. Um, See, so yeah, I'll go over there, check out his stuff, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, give him a sub if you uh, enjoy his content. He makes a lot of great content for a lot of different universes. Um, so yeah, check out his stuff. Uh, like I said earlier, a lot of these reactions I do live for my YouTube members. So if you want to join into the uh, live discussions uh, that we have uh, before, during, after, etc., um, feel free to click the uh, join button down below and uh, take a look at the YouTube membership tier. See if any of those have any interest to you. Even if you don't want to join as a member, there's a Discord that's open to everyone. If you want to join the Discord, we have a lot of discussions there and just hang out and chill, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out. Appreciate you watching the video here with me to the end. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like and a sub because it helps me and helps the channel grow. And uh, I just appreciate your time. Thank you very much for hanging out and watching the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.